Hi, I'm Vernon with Tax Court, and now we're going to talk about resolution steps when you owe the IRS some money. So, we've gotten you to the point where we've got all your unfiled tax returns paid if you had some unfiled tax returns, or the IRS has come to you and they've issued a final notice to you, and now we want to go ahead and put you on a payment plan. So, some of the resolutions that are available to you are installment agreements, offers and compromise, which is covered in another discussion that we have, or currently not collectible status. So let's first talk about the installment agreement. At different dollar amounts, the Internal Revenue Service is going to require a certain amount of documentation. When you owe less than $20,000, $25,000, it's pretty clear cut to provide the IRS the limited information that they're going to need in order to get you onto a payment plan. The way the payment plans work, first, every county in the United States is broken down demographically, and they have a certain amount of what's called allowable living expenses that certain amount of money that IRS allows a taxpayer to have in order to live. Housing and utilities, food, clothing, and miscellaneous expenses, automobile expenses for ownership and operating costs. Now, some of these are national standards. So they apply to everyone in the nation, and then they're broken down by regions of the country, and then they're broken down even further by county. And so the IRS is gonna come up with a calculation based on your um, household size. If you have a household of five, you're going to be given a certain amount of money for household expenses, food, clothing, and miscellaneous. And then you'll be given some regional and national standards for other things such as health care and or vehicle purchase, ownership, and operating costs. Basically, what will happen at this point is the IRS is going to look at your income. And if your income is $5,000 a month and your allowable living expense, that is the money that they feel as though you need as a minimum to live on, is $3,000 they're gonna require at least a $2,000 monthly payment from you as your installment agreement amount. Now, where a company like I come in with a former revenue officer as myself who knows what, what the process is, there's room to negotiate that amount around. Some companies can't do that. I know how to do that and get you a lower payment that, that you're able to live with while we get this tax resolution fixed. So that's the installment agreement. Once we make that installment agreement, you can either make it as a direct debit installment agreement where they take it right out of a checking account, or you just want to mail in a regular payment every month. Again, sometimes it's your choice and other times our IRS requires a certain payment structure. That aside, the second program is which is a little more difficult to work for you is called a currently not collectible, which means that that same allowable living expense for you living in a particular county, if your allowable living expense is $3,000 a month, and your household income is only $2,000 a month, the IRS cannot require you to make a payment. And working out a currently not collectible status, and sometimes even with an installment agreement, there's certain things that the IRS will not allow you to have. You can have an automobile, but you might not be able to own a boat, or a motorcycle if it's an additional vehicle, or a vacation home. They're not going to allow those certain expenses. Other expenses, such as college tuition for your children, private school tuition, gym memberships, all those things are typically disallowed expenses. But my company and myself, I know how to negotiate some of those things back into your payment plan to help give you some room to get out of them so that you can get yourself on a payment plan that you can actually afford and give you an opportunity to back out of some of these other payments that they won't allow so that the IRS doesn't just slam you all at once and make you drop all these things that you contracted may be required to keep until you pay them off. So those are the two um, resolutions. Those are installment agreements, and those are currently not collectible statuses. Both of them require a little bit of work on our part to get resolved, but we can handle it in no time at all for you. Give us a call. We can help you out.